What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. We got us a mission today. You can see we've got the trailer hooked up. I mean this 6.0, she has been solid now that she's actually running right now. She's pretty much had a trailer hooked up to her full time, whether it's my Diamond T dump trailer or my deck over trailer back there. She barely leaves the house without a trailer hooked up and she's been doing freaking awesome. So this truck was definitely a good buy. And what's crazy is the guy we bought it from we're actually meeting up with today. I mean, it's not that crazy because we're friends, but whatever. So Chris hit me up a couple days ago with something that needed to get removed from one of the properties that they are working on. And I think it's actually gonna be a really cool addition to the ranch. Or it might just be really trashy and we probably shouldn't even go grab it. I'm not sure. I have no idea what we're getting into. SoCal Greg A, AKA Danny, is bringing his forklift to help me out and get this thing onto the trailer. It might fall apart trying to get it onto the trailer. We might not have access. We might have some angry homeowner coming out thinking we're trespassing and like, you know, start shooting slingshots at us. No idea. It's gonna be an interesting day. Like, no joke, I have like zero intel on where we're going other than an address, a small picture of what we're picking up, and that's about it. It's a pretty interesting neighborhood we're coming into. Let's see what we got going on. I don't even know if we can get a forklift into where we're going. I don't know. Oh, look at this guy. He got a saloon in his yard. Which house are we? A lot of, a lot of junk over here. And not gonna be a whole lot of room to block this street. We're gonna definitely piss somebody off today. Oh, I see where we're going. We've got a car in the way. Oh, look at that. We got concrete all the way up there. And look at that, like clockwork. We've got SoCal Greg A pulling up with his fork. Ah. What's up, buddy? Oh, Sounds gonna be interesting. Yeah. You got strobes, Danny. We... Oh my God, Danny, come on, guy. Come on, man. We gotta do better than this. I know, I gotta get her to the, the wire. She, Bro, that is a pig. I was gonna say that that dog sounds like a pig, but that is a pig. That is indeed a pig. What is y'all pig? Bro, you brought fork extensions? Yes, sir. You were prepared. These are also very short forks. Uh, before we unload, I feel like we should go survey. I have not seen this thing. I have not looked at it. I have no idea what we're getting into. I don't either. You just hit me up like, hey, you, gotta, you want to bring your forklift? So the original plan was to try to winch it onto a trailer. Well, I don't have a winch mounted to any of my trailers yet. So we're going to let Danny uh, winch it onto his trailer. My trailer's too narrow. So since the trailer's too narrow, instead we're going to fork it on. To my trailer. Yeah. Is that your place or? Is it your place? Oh, okay. Can I give it to you? What's that? Can I give it to you? Yeah. Uh, that was there before the fence? Yeah, you see the fence right there? Yep. Because what you could have done is well, once you set it on your trailer, you back the fork up right there. Yeah. And pull the truck out. That was one of those refrigerator boxes. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Not this thick. All right, Danny, this is the beast right here. This thing looks. <laughs> It looks heavy, dude. This is a solid metal bottom. I hope your forklift's up to it. Uh, should be. Let's see what kind of magic's inside this thing. Oh. Oh, hell no. Man, this thing was supposed to be cleaned out. Man, Danny, this thing's not, this thing's not cleaned out. No. Got a sweet custom toolbox, though. An exhaust? You need a fan? No, I don't want anything from in here. They actually don't smell as bad as it looks. Danny, there is a wig, <laughs> a sleeping eye mask. Danny, there's a nudie mag. <laughs> See it up there? Should we grab that for Chris? Chris set this whole thing up. It's supposed to be cleared out. I guess this person got evicted. We're gonna take this box. This box is super sweet. Apparently, it was an old refrigerated box truck. This is gonna be cool at the ranch because it's number one. It's inside cover storage. We don't have that at the ranch. We don't have a garage or anything like that. This would be great to set like pallets of concrete in that we don't want to get wet or anything like that. Or shoot, we could put the golf cart in here. We could put the mini truck in here. It's a good size, but it is, it's heavy. This is going to be interesting. And it was supposed to be empty. This is not empty. Like, and I really don't want to, you got gloves? No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't bring gloves either. I don't, none of this is going to the ranch. Mm -mm. Like I'd much, uh, we just picked the front up and, uh, Dump it. Dump it. Yeah, I don't want none of this. I was told this was clear. Um, yeah, Danny, yeah. this is interesting. Oh, there's a bicycle back there and some tire. Is that a tire? I don't know what the heck I'm looking at. This is definitely not in the uh, plan. What do we got? The road. The road. Ooh, interesting CDs. Check out this sweet frog. This. Apparently the guy that owned this, he uh, built this custom top for this Harbor Freight mechanic cart. We got a sweet jeweled frog epoxied onto this thing. Oh yeah, we even got a sticker of a, what was that, a barracuda? I don't know, some type of Mopar epoxied underneath. What else you got in there, Danny? 
scared for me. DDM Dodge tuning? Relays. DDM tuning is actually some decent uh, headlights. I don't think those are headlights yeah. though. Well, it was. The box was. was oh, we got a big old 5,000 pound scale back there. Danny, you won't put that wig on. You're absolutely right. I'm not. <laughs> you want to duck that? He put lipstick on? What the f? <laughs> Sorry, we're not supposed to cut our camera. All right, we'll cut that out. <laughs> this is interesting. What kind of book we got here? Supermarket Super Product. I don't, I don't take this guy as much of a reader. What'd you find? Probably deadness. The fact that it doesn't really stink in here yeah. tells me it's not too bad. I don't really want to go digging through it though. He was a smoker, a lot of cigarette butts. A lot of cigarettes. Danny, you've been needing one of these, man. Here you go, Danny. No. Bye. Danny, you might have kids one day, man. We got Jim's Dominican Gordo, all these cigar boxes. Oh, dude, those are decent, man. A little snap ring kit. That's some, some space. Is that real carbon fiber? All right, well, the, the guy had a booby <laughs> trap set up for Danny. He got him. Walk it off, man. Walk it off. We're good. All right. If I walk it off, I'm walking off. And just never come back? No. We got sweet tape. There is a compressor back there. I just spilled all of that. Dang, way to go, buddy. Does it say butt buffet? The fuck? What? <laughs> what? 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 No. What? There were stains on that one. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> like my stomach kind of hurts right now. So we can't show it on camera, but Danny opened up the uh, adult magazine. <laughs> And about, about ten, 10 pages in, there were some stains on the page. <laughs> You're good, dog. You're good, dog. You're good. You don't have to eat it. You're good, bro. I got hand sanitizer in the truck, man. We're good. Uh, no wire. Oh, I found drugs. Did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> what kind? Hell's Sorry, man. Jesus, guy. Hey, need a bully dog. Uh, Please tell me this is in here. A GT gas tuner. I'm gonna bet that's not in there. I'm gonna bet that it is. Oh, I know. Actually, it is. It's right there. The screen's in there? Seven dollars right there at the swap meet. He he wore a lot of raws, man. He wore a lot of raws. I'm honestly surprised you're going through this much of the stuff. Well, dude, I've already <laughs> my plan was my plan was just that. <laughs> my interest is Pete. Okay. Well, I feel like you and you and this guy are blood brothers now after what you've touched of his. <laughs> you guys are Eskimo bros. I feel like we're on a uh, storage wars. You know, I've been thinking that the entire time. Dude, what is on that compressor? Is that like a custom epoxy coating? Let's go. Let's go, let's go far away. Yeah. We got room for this shit. Oh, well, we got some some Jordans. Genuine. There's some. Oh, those are Fila's. <laughs> what size are these? Danny, are you an 11 and a half? God damn it, I am. Are you? <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm gonna find the other. Oh, dude, this guy. Will... Ah! Oh, this guy went to prison, man. He got the Reebok with no laces. <laughs> this is straight out of prison. Grass. Yeah, pick the front up with the forklift and <laughs> yeah, out it all goes. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly down with it. I don't. I really don't want to dig through all this. Oh, hey, a couch. Uh, oh, God, I don't even want it. Nope, oh, I'm no. Not touching that. Oh, no. I'm not touching that. Bro, what's in here? We got more hair? Oh, no. Danny, you want a jerry oh. curl? Danny, that matches your hair right there, bro. I'm shaking my head. Oh, come on. Why? <laughs> more wigs. Why is there so many wigs? No, we got a bunch of women's stuff. What do we got in this toolbox, Danny? This, this is gonna be some good stuff in here. Uh, well, we got a bunch of knobs and, and a okay. ton of caster wheels. Okay. Listen, man, we all collect different things. Some guys collect caster wheels. I'm pretty sure I just found the tip of a crack light. Did you? Danny has found some um, paraphernalia of the glass cylindrical type with burns on the end. We can't show it on camera though, cause you know, YouTube. This guy needs to be put in jail. I in think he wind. is. Danny, what do, you, I, I don't know. what do you think is in this block of DVDs that oh, are all oh no. taped together, Danny? You think there, think there's anything interesting yeah, in here? I'm going up. You know guys, it's about this time that we start really rethinking our, uh, <laughs> try to take this thing home. God, this would've been so quick. This is now the time? Well, we got a little I mean, curious. As soon as we opened the door, it was one of those, are we sure we want this? We got curious. I mean, okay, yeah, we did. Okay, it was the magazine part that, that made me want to bail out. <laughs> that was like his road bag. Just, just take it out, man. You got this. Uh, you got this. Hmm. 
women's clothes and hardware. He really liked his hardware. Let's just snap up at you. We're going to uh, try to tip the box because we're done digging through that thing. And if this fails, we're putting the horse back on the trailer and we're leaving. That's all we care about. Look at that solid rig right there. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, I was gonna come on back here. Yeah, that is nice. That is nice. We got very nice painters moving out of the way for us, and now we got Danny. So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to actually turn the box first, then go to dump it. That way we don't like our pile doesn't get in the way, and we don't push anything into that car. We're gonna see Danny's forklift operating skills here. Probably something right in the front there holding it down, but or that it's sitting on frame wise. I don't know. Keep going in. See if you hit something. Or you are already hitting something. Yeah, solid. There it is. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a solid unit right here. There you go. There you go. Oh God, I need that corner. I don't think anybody minds if you hit the dryer. Even though it is, look at this, it's a special edition. It's got the three cycles. <laughs> Danny, is your forklift gonna be able to pick this thing up? Yeah, he's a guy, it's, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta get it back away first. It's gonna push it into that car. We don't wanna, I don't wanna buy whatever Nissan Versa that is. You know, Danny, as the day goes on, I feel like this is more and more a bad idea. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that <laughs> okay, we're putting the big forks on. We gotta change tactics now. Uh, you're gonna have to tilt them forward more to get underneath that frame. Uh, you, you leaving that one there? I might have to just go up and meet, I, I might have to put some higher stuff under that frame for you. Yeah, here, pick up on it and I'll... I'll stack some more of whatever the heck these things are, but they, they make a really good brace. Right there, get a little taller for Danny. Uh, yeah, that other one we're just out of luck on. That might work. There you go, there you go. All right, now go down. Uh, you might be hitting the other one now. There she is. There she is, Danny. Oh, oh, easy guy. Easy guy. Easy guy. Oh, he's still taking the box. I'm not gonna lie, Danny. I'm kind of over this box. Oh, thank God. It was a valiant effort, Danny. I don't know if this one's coming home with us, though. Unless they clean it out for us. Uh, if they clean it out, I'll come back. Okay. Do you, you don't want hepatitis? No, I already touched <laughs> some other bodily fluids and got stabbed. It's a nice box, but now that I see like the front getting ripped off of it. And. Before you guys started saying, oh, well, he did that. No, it was like that when I started, all right? Yeah, it wasn't Danny's fault. He passed the 30-minute online forklift course. 30? It was like five. No, I'm not giving up right now, guys. I'm not giving up. I'm going to just tie this chain in a nice, a nice knot. Uh, we'll double knot it, Danny, for safety. There she comes. There she comes. Don't worry, nothing bad could happen with that chain, man. I tied it with a knot. All right, hold up right there. Oh. All right, easy guy, easy guy. Oh, no, no, no. we don't want to dump it in that guy's fence. I don't think she's going to come with you. Hold on, keep it right there, though. Keep it right there, hold on. I'm gonna use this nice jack stand that I found. Comes in a set of three. Hopefully those jack stands uh, hold up. Some strong jack stands. All right, now with the big forks, I think we can get this whole thing. Aren't you glad you volunteered? <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. 
Dang, you still don't got this thing? There's a lot of weight on that side. Maybe this isn't looking so good, guys. We could throw a strap all the way around it. Oh, oh, damn it. Yeah, now abort, abort. She's a little heavy. You're on the phone, Chris. Hey, this box is supposed to be empty. Is it not empty? No. <laughs> what do we got? A lot of women's clothing, nudie mags, and drugs. Well, that's for Danny. No, 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 no. I wanted this box. I would go here. I get your chain. Hook it to the bottom thing. And I raise the sand sand like this. Yeah, I don't want to roll it out on your fence. So we're going to try to get it over here more, but she don't want to come. Oh. <laughs> We got a signed SMV CD. CD case. I don't know who SMV is. All right, Danny, dump her. Go ahead, go hard. Looks like I got a lot of shit in there. Looks like this thing just filled all back up. Look at that. Look back together that train. Give it a little jiggle. Drag the big stuff out. Put it right there. Fly it out. Oh, hold on. Let's go. Oh. Kind of coming. Hold on, Danny. Hold on. You ever question what we're doing with our lives, Danny? Every day. Oh, okay. We can get to the end of the driveway, we can readjust this strap, and then I'll just pull the trailer up. You're gonna have to guide me here, because I can't see. Nah, just go blind, see what happens. All right, hold on. All right, give me the strap. Look at this beautiful gem in here. We don't need the decimal equivalent chart. That can stay. Keep coming straight. We don't need that umbrella. Whoop, Keep coming, whoop, Danny. Whoop. Hold on, go, go down a little bit. All right, keep going. Hold on, hold on. Oh. All right, bring it straight. We we're close to those lines right there too. Keep coming straight. Keep coming straight. Hold on, hold on. Turn towards your truck. There you go, hold up. All right, come up with it a little bit. All right, keep coming. Man, this project has turned out to be way more involved than we had planned on. I mean, most things do, if you guys have learned with anything these days. So now I'm gonna back the truck up. Hopefully there's enough room for Danny to kind of get flat, because right now he's coming down a driveway like this, and you don't want to pick up something heavy when your rear end is already light, because it's already leaning forward or tilting forward. Been getting a lot of stories about the previous owner. So apparently the guy that actually lives on the same property is like, man, I couldn't stand that guy. He had like tweakers showing up. He thinks most of the stuff in the uh, container was from tweakers just like bringing it at all random hours of the night, which it kind of looks like that. The neighbor sounds like his buddies with the guy and uh, he did in fact, it sounds like get locked up. So I don't know. I know he got evicted. Everything else has already been cleaned out. This is the last piece of the puzzle. The neighbors are kind of going through the stuff. So I'm assuming if they want to get it back to him or if he wants it back, it'll be at the neighbor's house. It is not our problem. You're going to get real light on that rear end there, Bubba. You got about two feet before you hit my trailer. Come up another foot if you can. How's that strap? You want to tighten that or are you good? You're making me real nervous. All right, come on in. We don't want to buy this truck today. That's our goal. Don't oh, buy this truck. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Keep coming. Keep coming. All right, hold up. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. 
Right there, hold up, up. Oh. Yep. Come down e come down easy with her. Oh, you're good. You're good. The guy at Home Depot already did that. Yeah, well I'm not fucking Home Depot. Woo. What happened? Oh, it just got tight. No, I got loose. Oh. We're on the frame, so that's why we're so high up, but that's alright. And I don't know if the forks are gonna come out. Just get them back to me when you get Yeah, those might be those might be my forks now. <laughs> I just want to make sure you guys can work right here yeah. without all the trash. <laughs> We're doing our part, Danny. We're cleaning up, you know? It looks a lot nicer than it did like five minutes ago before I pushed it all over there. I just don't want my buddies, the painters, to have to work in this mess, you know? It's been cool to us. A lot of glitter. Okay, we cleaned up a good majority of our mess. You know, we probably should have just left it, but I feel bad for the neighbors. This guy's been really cool with us, so. This is gonna get cleaned up, I'm assuming, by Chris's company. Apparently, whoever was supposed to come clean it out, all they did was like open it up and take tools out. That's what this neighbor said, so. I don't know, not our problem anymore. We got her on the trailer. That's, uh, that's a big plus. Now, getting her off is gonna be a little sketchy. I don't trust the, the farm tractor. She's a little light in the rear, so we might have to call up James and see if he can help me with the 299. All right, buddy, I owe you 72 cases of Twisted Tea for that. <laughs> uh, but I recommend going straight to get a hepatitis, penicillin, some antibiotics. I'm gonna go take an acid bath. <laughs> yeah. Huge thank you to Danny for rolling out today. Without him and the forklift, obviously no, that, that wouldn't happen. There's also no way we would have winched that onto the trailer. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we needed the forklift for sure. All right. Are we rolling the outro? No, not yet. No, not yet? Okay. We're just still going. Oh, no. We're just going to load up on that hand sanitizer there. Now, here's the hoping we make it back to the ranch. Don't clip any overpasses. I think we're about 12 feet tall, so we, we should be good. All righty, we've made it back to the ranch. We're gonna take the mini X over and make a little spot. And the cavalry has arrived. Oh, I won't spray anymore. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> Sounds good. What's up, buddy? So James has been working on this water truck all day, getting everything up and running. And then when he got here, the sprayers, of course, stopped working right when he pulls in. But let's see, we might have them fixed right now. If you guys wanna go check out Get Muddy on YouTube. And James is always working on crazy, sweet old equipment finds and stuff that he has. That knocked down some flames. So we're gonna set it right next to the chicken coop. We're moving this old plastic box out the way. This shed, this little old shed came with the property, but the doors have always uh, not really stuck on there well. We used to keep the chicken food in here until the donkeys figured out how to open it all up. So now it's pretty useless. No snakes, no snakes. What is that, a dead rabbit? I was just gonna say that. Well, you already hit the trailer. You're just like them now. <laughs> Should we strap it or you wanna? Are, are you off the ground? Am I off the ground? Off the trailer. Yeah, he's off. If you can just back up, I can back the trailer and everything back up right here and then we'll set it down if you want. Redneck counterweight. Oh, so stop, stop. <laughs> we should probably strap it. <laughs> <laughs> Come up with it. I don't think so. Still wanting to go that way? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. We had the roll up door up. I wonder if that brings more weight that way. It would, for sure. Yeah, that's the only thing we did different was we had that roll up door up. You're over the trailer still, so if it goes, it's just going to drop back on the trailer. 
Look at that. Okay, don't go high. Go back down. <laughs> you just didn't go up. <laughs> you got it. You're pretty solid there. Oh, oh, uh. All right, just back straight up. Well, I need to turn right because I'm on a hill like this. Can we make a half a heart before we begin? <laughs> All right, don't drop it on me. Ready when you are, buddy. If he keeps going down like that, he's, he'll be all right. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. All right. Go back. Go back. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. Don't all, go anymore. All day. I mean, you just need a little stabilization while he's dragging it, right? Let's see. Whatever way. You want to drag it backwards this way? It's probably easier to drag it backwards. What a day, y'all. A lot of sketchiness involved in getting this old turd out here, but it don't look too bad right here. It's not level. We could probably mess with that later if we really want to. Uh, I hit it behind the chicken coop so you're not sitting there staring at this big old ugly box. You really can't see anything but the roll-up door from the house, and the roll-up door side's not too bad. Uh, she's a sealed box, though. There's probably little spots that rodents can get in here, but it's not like we're going to store animal food or anything like that. It'll probably just be, you know, if we need to get sacks of concrete out of the rain, and not somewhere that the animals are going to eat them or whatever. It's a decent storage box. Not bad for free, considering the neighbor who was helping us sold it to the other neighbor for a thousand bucks at one point. Free is free. And thank God it, it's actually here. So I got to give a huge, huge thank you to Danny for helping me out today. Uh, I know at some points he was not stoked to be doing what we were doing. It was pretty gross in there. And always a huge thank you to James and to Mike for helping me get this off because there is no way we would have done this with my tractor. If that 299 was struggling, and that 299 can move some weight. Uh, my tractor would have just went Poof! It wouldn't even have stood a chance. But with that, we're going to wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you know I'm out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.